Wall Street, the heart of global finance where dreams are built and shattered in the blink of an eye, a place where fortunes are made and lost. Every tick of the clock can mean a windfall or a wipeout. It's supposed to be a level playing field, but sometimes it's not. The market is meant to be fair, but hidden advantages can tip the scales. Imagine this, you're playing poker, but the guy across from you already knows what cards you're holding. That's insider trading. It's like a game where the rules are bent for a select few. Someone uses secret information to buy or sell stocks. They have access to knowledge that others don't, giving them an unfair edge. It's like having tomorrow's newspaper today. Insider trading is illegal. It undermines the integrity of the market. It's unfair to everyone else in the market. Honest investors are left in the dark, unable to compete on equal terms. It erodes trust in the entire system. When people lose faith in the market, the very foundation of our financial system is at risk. So, who's keeping an eye on Wall Street? Regulators and watchdogs work tirelessly to ensure fairness, but the battle against insider trading is ongoing. Let's meet the financial cops. These are the people who work tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure that the financial markets operate fairly and transparently. In the U.S., it's the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC. Established in 1934, the SEC's mission is to protect investors, maintain fair, orderly, and efficient markets, and facilitate capital formation. They're the sheriffs of Wall Street. They oversee the stock exchanges, broker-dealers, investment advisors, and mutual funds. Watching every trade, looking for suspicious activity. They use sophisticated technology and data analysis to detect irregularities and potential fraud. In the UK, you've got the Financial Conduct Authority, the FCA. The FCA regulates the conduct of financial firms to ensure that markets run smoothly and consumers are protected, and the Prudential Regulation Authority, the PRA. The PRA focuses on the stability of the financial system, ensuring that banks and insurance companies are financially sound. Think of them like the UK's financial MI5 and MI6. They work together to prevent financial crises and protect the economy. They're all dedicated to keeping the markets clean. Their efforts help to build trust and confidence in the financial system. These agencies have strict rules. They set the standards for financial reporting, corporate governance, and market conduct. They enforce them with hefty fines and even jail time for insider trading. Their enforcement actions serve as a deterrent to those who might consider breaking the rules. They're there to protect regular investors like you and me. By ensuring that everyone plays by the same rules, they help to create a level playing field because nobody likes a rigged game. Fair and transparent markets are essential for the health of the global economy. Now let's talk about the wild west of finance cryptocurrency. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, it's the digital gold rush, but there's a catch. Crypto is largely unregulated. It's like the financial markets before the SEC existed. The sheriffs ain't arrived yet, folks. This lack of regulation makes crypto a breeding ground for scams. Section 4, Pump and Dump, the oldest trick in the new book. This tactic has been around for decades, but it has found a new life in the digital age. Imagine this. You see a hot tip online about a new cryptocurrency. The excitement builds as you read about its potential. You buy in, hoping to get rich quick. The promise of overnight wealth is too tempting to resist. But the tip was a lie. The dream of easy money quickly turns into a nightmare. A group of insiders artificially inflated the price. They coordinated their efforts to create a false sense of demand. Then they sold everything, leaving you holding the bag. Your investment plummets and you're left with nothing. That's a pump and dump. Pump and dumps are illegal in the stock market. Regulators have strict rules to prevent such schemes. But in the unregulated crypto world, it's a different story. The lack of oversight makes it a breeding ground for fraud. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Scammers find it easy to exploit unsuspecting investors. And these schemes are getting more sophisticated. They use advanced technology to manipulate the market. That's where social media influencers come in. They have the power to sway public opinion and drive up prices with a single post. Section 5. Tate's Hustlers Influencers Gone Wild, Andrew Tate. You've probably heard of him, former kickboxer, self-proclaimed alpha male, and now a crypto enthusiast. He's got millions of followers hanging on his every word, and he knows it. Imagine me tweeting about a new crypto project. My followers, eager to make a quick buck, jump in head first. The price skyrockets. 
Who benefits? Me and my buddies who bought it cheap and sold it high. Who loses? You guessed it, the followers. Section 6. Losing Your Shirt The Real Cost of Crypto Shenanigans These schemes aren't harmless fun. People are losing their life savings, their retirement funds, their kids' college money, all because they fell for a get-rich-quick scheme. These scams prey on people's hopes and dreams. They promise financial freedom but deliver financial ruin.